We are here getting your first impression of what it is like to win a Tony Award. Tell me what this feels like. Um, slightly crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I didn't expect to pick this award up tonight, um, and I'm sat there thinking, okay, you know, just you know, have a nice time, and then they said my name, and suddenly I went from feeling pretty calm yeah. to like very very low. Yes. <laughs> shaking. shaking a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. it really is like just wonderful to be up there with that list of names yeah. like Neil Austin is a hero of mine we both studied at the same school in London wow. um, and Natasha winning for best musical yeah like when I was 12 and I went to see Beauty and the Beast that was the reason yeah. I became a lighting designer and Natasha was the lighting designer so the fact that we're both studying here now she has eight Tony amazing. Awards this she's got eight she has got, <laughs> like, yeah. you know this is a great start yeah, exactly. and how do you like our lighting design in this booth tonight? does it compare well. thank you very, very much well. um, uh, Life of Pi obviously not exactly what one would call an easy show to light yes. this is a big big incredible piece of art yeah um, uh, do you just dive in head first what was your process from the beginning um, the, so Tim Hatton came up with a concept that the play should never leave the hospital room in which Pi has ended up in. So then lighting and video have to give kind of a treatment within the hospital room to take you to the island, to take you back in time, etc, etc. Um, and at first that was difficult because we were throwing up video. This is like three or four years ago and three productions before Broadway. And everybody was like, oh yeah, turn the lights off because we don't want to trash the floor with lighting. Of course, nobody's face is lit. Right. So then we developed um, a new tracking system with Zaktrack that means we track all the puppets and the actors separately um, against the video. And then my job is really to just uh, create a much more saturated, kind of magical version of the video. Because uh, just video projection on its own, without the support of lighting, does feel flat and pretty uh -huh. dead. Uh -huh. So that's the that was the two things really: light the actors and make it magical. It <laughs> seems like uh, the work that you do, especially on a show like Life of Pi, is really a marriage between uh, traditional lighting, storytelling, and understanding technology and kind of being uh, uh, a nerdy about yeah. uh, those types of things. Yeah. Um, do you dive in? Are you a fan of new technology? Is that something that you're yeah, always... Yeah, totally. You exactly. are. I think there's... When I was um, studying uh, in my first year of university, there was this funny thing about people that used only moving light rigs were lazy because they hadn't worked out where to point everything, where to focus it, and choose a colour for every lamp. That's now changed, and what I think technology is bringing to lighting design, especially for young lighting designers, is like complete flexibility. And you can be more creative, yeah. and you can react very quickly, and I think the more we embrace the technology, the better. Yeah. Um, and the more we resist it and try to stick to tradition, uh, the more rigid the design process will be. Fantastic. Uh, anyone that you forgot to thank in your speech that you want to make sure to thank um, now? My brother, Simon. <laughs> you forgot your brother, Simon, yeah. in your speech? Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I did say mom and dad, so. That, count, that's, that covers everything.